for our next tutorial video. Um, this is going to be partridge in a pear tree. The first video, uh, I think it's probably going to take us about three in order to get through these ones. Um, if you haven't watched a video with us before, I do want to let you know that I do all the beading and embroidery first and then Basically, I'm just kind of showing you how to put them together, and as we go through them, I'm kind of showing you what we're doing, um, tips, tricks, things like that, um, as we put the kit together. So if you have any questions about what is kind of going on, or if I missed a step and you're confused, please just post it in the comment section below. You can also send me a private message, and I would be happy to help with any questions that you may have in the meantime. So this, like I said, is going to be a partridge in a pear tree. The stocking is the, well, this part is the first step. So this is going to be the entire kit here. I have our instructions and everything has been put together so far. So this is actually, like I said, going to be the first step. It's going to be your backing, which I think this is probably my favorite backing that I've done so far. This is going to be your gold thread. Your intersecting of the gold thread is going to be gold sequins, and then on the inside it's red, and then you have these super awesome um, pine needles down here. The stem is outline stitch, and then this these branches off are going to be just straight stitch. I did have a little bit of an issue um, with the number of strands because the outline stitch, I think, was two, and then the actual like needle stitch was three. So just kind of keep an eye on those as you're putting this all together because there is... Um, a difference we normally don't see them using three um, but there's a lot of two three kind of going on in this kit also the gold threading some of this can be kind of difficult uh, to work with because it is a little bit wiry um, there are a few different things that you can do I like to kind of wrap it around my finger um, a couple of times just to kind of get it to where it's malleable I also, when I pull up through, I'll kind of like lean it over and bend it to the way that I need for it to go through. And you can also use this also awesome stuff called Magic Thread. What that does is it, you can use it on anything, but it conditions the thread to be a little bit more easier to work with. So this is our number one. Oops, I just dropped my needles. This is our number one, and it is to embroider and sequin the stocking front. Please know that two colors of sequins are to be used, which are going to be your gold and your red. Also, real quick too, before we go on to step number two, please pay attention to down here on this corner. There's a lot of little... Um, dots down here and just make sure you are following which one is gold and which one is red especially right here you see I have three red and then a gold and those are going to be the berries so the second one is sequin the and applique the top edge of the scalloped edge so let's get into our big bag of goodies here so this is going to be your scalloped edge. The top is going to be your light green sequins and the bottom, like in these little pigeon toes, I guess, is going to be gold. This stocking does that a lot where it has different kinds of sequins going on separate, or I'm sorry, on the same piece. So just kind of keep a lookout for that.
I'm not going to sew um, the top edge right here. And that's only because when I put the lining in, I'll actually be stitching the top edge anyway. And I just kind of want to keep um, as many stitches out as I possibly can. So now that we have our top layer on, we're going to move on to number three, which is embroider and stuff the tree trunk to the stocking. And I have my tree trunk already. With this one, I'm probably going to go ahead and embroider, I'm sorry, not embroider, applique this way. That way I can get some of the stuffing up into these limbs. So I'm going to stop about right here just so I have space um, to go ahead and put the stuffing in the branches. And also, especially with these small pieces, try to get your stitches as close to the edge as possible um, where, you know, they're sticking. So that way uh, you have some more room. I know in a couple of the first stockings, that I had been doing, I was just kind of like stitching and they went uh, kind of far into the pieces. And when I was trying to stuff them, it was hard to because I was fighting with the stitches. Now that we have that on, we're going to be doing the flower pot part. So now that we got the tree trunk, we're going to applique the pot piece. which is just a regular piece. There's no embroidery or anything on here. But what's gonna happen is after we put this piece on 
And then we put this piece on, which is going to be the top of the pot. Like this. We are actually going to embroider a line here on the seam um, to kind of make it three-dimensional, two-dimensional. So we'll put this piece on, then we'll put this piece on, and then I will show you how we are going to embroider this part right here on the seam. So I do want to show you guys, there's a part right here. I actually sewed it a little bit taller or a little bit higher than it should have been. So if I kind of push it up this way, it's going to leave possibly some white lines down here. And I just want to make sure that I'm not going to have these little black dotted lines showing. So I'm just going to take the tip of my scissors and I'm just going to kind of scratch them off and pull them up off of the felt. You can also do this with a needle if it's easier for you to do it that way to get it up with the needle. I just like using my scissors because they you can kind of pull the whole section up at one time. So when you pull it up, you're going to see that it's kind of like fuzzy on there. So what I do is I actually just cut, now that you've kind of pulled the lines up off from it, I just kind of cut that fuzz off. And sometimes it doesn't take the whole line off and you don't want to go too far into the felt. So, cause you know, you don't want to cut a huge hole in it. But this is going to take kind of like that black mark off enough to where when I sew over it, it's not going to be so prominent if it does kind of like pop through.
Neither of these plant pot pieces are going to be stuffed. So you don't have to worry about, you know, stuffing the top or the bottom here. Now, remember, now we're going to do embroider this edge. Okay, we're going to give it a little bit of dimension. So it looks like with our instructions that it's going to be two strands of light green. which sometimes on small pieces or small sections of embroidery like this, I just take one strand, fold it in half. That way I don't have two kind of oblong strands. Or two strands that are short you know, and I, I can't use them for anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right on the outside here. And we're going to do an outline stitch. So you're going to go a little bit of space over here, like a regular stitch up through the middle of this one. down regular stitch. And what I like to do is I like to meet where that other stitch is. So one full stitch up through the middle, and then I go over a little bit and I go over to the end of the last stitch. The smaller that you make them, I feel like, you know, you don't have to make them very tiny but the smaller that you make them, I feel like they kind of blend in a little bit better with each other. And you are just gonna follow that, follow that line all the way across where those two meet. Now, when you're doing the stitch, always make sure you're going through one side of the other. So I'm pulling mine down this way and coming up. So you're going to want to stick to putting it on one side. So don't put it in this way and then flip it over and put the stitch through here because believe it or not, changing the directions like that of which side you put the thread in is going to affect that stitch. So can you see it, the little kind of green line right there? There we go. 
So it's giving kind of like that three-dimensional, you know, like there's a line of spot here. So as we continue on, now that we have that, we're going to embroider the sequin, embroider sequin and applique the dark green base to the stocking. So this is gonna be one of our very big pieces. This is piece number six. This is gonna be the tree of our partridge in a pear tree which I actually looked up a picture of a partridge and I will totally put it in here so you guys can see it. Um, it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I had never seen an, a real partridge before. So we'll fun fact that in here. Um, so let me kind of get this. To match up here. Make sure you're matching up on both sides as well just to make sure that you're getting it where it needs to go. So that actually looks pretty good. You will not be stuffing this either, so don't worry about having to stuff a whole bunch. It's not something that needs to be puffed out. So I'm actually going to put quite a few pins in here um, since there are so many different ways that it needs to line up. I don't want it sliding any particular way. And then I'm going to double check the lines up here to make sure it's also where it needs to go up here. Alright, so we have all of these pinned down. Just make sure that you got it in the right spot and you've lined these up on both sides. And now we're just going to add them on here. Hey, you want to play with me? Hey, you want to play with me? Oh, you two want to play with me? Hey, you 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 want to
so let's take these pins out. I did have to tuck a couple of little wispies from my green pine here um, actually into the background. So now we are going to be moving on to our next step, which is to embroider sequin and applique the leaves. So I've already embroidered and put sequins on the leaves. There are a lot of them and a lot of the leaves are going to have the same numbers. It looks like um, seven, eight, nine, and 10 are the numbers that are gonna be used for the leaves here. And we got a whole bunch of them. And the only reason why I cut them out this way is because for the tutorial, it would have taken a million years to cut out and embroider and sequin all of these and put them on individually. So what I did is I just embroidered them and then cut them out and just left the numbers on them. Well, most of them. So like seven is gonna go here. Eight, cause see they're all kind of different ways and they have different shapes to them. So seven, eight, it looks like there's gonna be a 14 that goes here and the 14s are gonna be your, um, I almost said pineapples, your pears. So just follow the numbers, like this one is an eight. And what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm just going to kind of do half of the leaf up here, kind of like the butt part, the little curvy butt part, um, just so they can kind of hang off um, and give it a little bit more dimension. But what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna do my sevens, eights, nines, tens. So um, that way it'll layer correctly how it's supposed to. So um, right now we're gonna start sevens and then I'll mark in the video when we're doing eights and nines and tens. And then you guys will kind of see it build up as we go. And as we go, we'll be cutting these little numbers off too. Now, remember, it's not a good idea to cut all your pieces out. You're gonna be supposed to be cutting them out one, well, no, I guess not supposed. You are in the directions, it says, to only cut out the ones that you're using at a time. Uh, but like I said, for tutorial sake, I'm doing it this way. So let's get these leaves on. Let's get these leaves on our pear tree. Here we go.
So we have all the leaves on, thank gosh. And we're gonna be doing the pears next. Now there's a thing with the pears. On the kit, this outside line of sequins is supposed to be green. I didn't really like how that looked, so I added the gold sequins instead. You are going to be embroidering and putting the sequins on, and then you're actually going to stuff the pairs. I didn't get that far, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these stuffed, and then we are going to put them on. They're basically going to be like the backs are for... Just pay attention to how your kit goes and kind of tell you um, 11s and 12s, 13s and 14s, um, the front and backs. But like I said, pay attention because in the kit, this outside line is supposed to be green. I did not do that because I didn't have look, like how it looked, like I said. With them all stuffed. I just stuffed them really lightly. I didn't want them to come too far off from here. Uh, so I have my three big ones, my five small ones. Um, the big ones are going to be 11, 12 numbers. The small ones are going to be 13, 14 numbers. Like I said, I didn't put the green on the outside. I did all of them in gold. So it looks like the numbers on here are going to be 12s. So I'm just going to start here and go around adding my pairs on. And then there's going to be a separate thing to do for um, the stems. Honey, all of our pears are on. It's really starting to look really good. I'm super excited about how it's turning out. Um, the next thing that we're going to be doing is the partridge and <clears throat> the banner, which we will be doing in our next video. Um, the partridge shouldn't take long to put together because it's a lot of small pieces. And then you're basically like putting the front on the back and putting on here. Um, make sure that you have done your embroidery and you've done your beading um, because we're just basically going to be layering up the top of this right here. If you guys have any questions, anything like that, please let me know. Go ahead, click the like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. I really appreciate you guys hanging in with me this past couple of months. 
there were so many things that I intended to do and it just did not happen. So thanks for hanging in there. I promise there's going to be more videos to come. We have our next tutorial, which is going to be the Alice in Wonderland Bucilicate. And then we're going to be doing a couple of other small kind of tutorial videos on how to do some sequin layering, how to make felt roses, uh, which will be with Alice in Wonderland. And then we also have another one of how to do press and seal templates, which that one's going to be a lot of fun too. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you pay attention. Video two is coming out soon. Um, so watch out for that one. And... We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.